the Wessel Simons from Bitcoin Magazine. Uh, we're here with Peter van Ginsven from yes. Entitled. Correct. Uh, we're here at the day of the crypto. What is your first impression uh, of the of these days? Yeah, there's a lot lot going on in the in the, in the, in the space, and mm. a lot of enthusiasm about people. Mm. Everybody wants to know what it's all about, and that's uh, mm. yeah, good. Uh, what's uh, what's your background? Uh, you're an investor in. Yeah, my background is I'm the I'm the managing director of Connexus, which is the digital agency. Mm -hmm. We have about 60 people working in six countries: three countries in South America and three in Europe. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we our phrase is "Let's make magic." Mm. So we define uh, innovative projects. Ten mm. years ago, we made a creative crowdsourcing marketplace. Yeah, something similar like 99 Designs. Mm. And uh, now, because the blockchain is the new thing, we have defined a project that will bring licensing to the blockchain, mm -hmm. starting with gaming. Okay, interesting. Uh, the gaming industry, the gaming market is a pretty big market. Yeah, huge uh, market. Did you, did you f figure it out what, 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 uh, how big this market is and what the potential is for, for this solution? Well, it's, it's a big market. It's, a, it's about a hundred billion mm. market a year. Mm. What we are focused at is at the independent game developers, which is between six and eight billion uh, dollars a year. Still enormous. Um, <clears throat> so our company is called Antitle, and uh, our mission is to level the playing field. Mm. Antitle um, is focused on giving people the right to digital assets, ownership right. Mm. So you know, you 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 know, uh, some some years ago you bought a CD, a game CD, mm -hmm. and you could just sell it on. Mm. And you know, over time, that changed. That the digital product is connected to your user. And you cannot sell it anymore. True, true. So while well, you paid good money before and you could sell it all, now you pay the same money, you cannot sell it anymore. Yeah. And people don't seem to see what, what's happening. Mm. So we think that people are entitled to digital assets and will make that possible for games and books and enterprise software so that they can recoup part of their investment. Uh, so actually you're protecting these copyrights, you're protecting the rights of the independent makers of this, uh, of all these yeah, creations actually. Not only games, but you start with games. Yeah, we start uh, with yeah. games. Mm -hmm. yeah, if, you, if you look at the market uh, for games for example, mm -hmm. the central party is called Steam. Yeah. They got 80% of the market. Mm -hmm. They got these licenses locked up in the central database mm -hmm. because they have the ownership really. Mm -hmm. They set the rules for the game developer and the gamer. Mm. And there's just a lot of friction between that uh, system. There's, they add extra cost, they add 30% to the price. So we want to take these, these licenses out of the centralized database and put it in the, into the system, mm. which benefits both the game developer, will make his market bigger, mm. as it benefits the gamer, will, make it, will lower his cost of ownership. Mm. So, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're improving the market mechanics between those two parties. Yeah. Can you maybe, uh, that's the details of the blockchain solution, maybe you can uh, delve into that. It's based on Ethereum. Yeah, it's going to be based on the Ethereum platform. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have, uh, you know, we have some very good advisors. As a company, we have been working on MakerDAO, programming on MakerDAO, which is the stable coin on Ethereum mm -hmm. for the last two years. Yeah. And we, one of our advisors is Anthony, Anthony Ofemio from Digix DAO. Digix DAO right. is the gold coin. Oh, yeah. It's a very important project. Stable, okay. also a stable coin. Mm. Uh, one of our other advisors is Gavin Nickel. Gavin Nickel worked on the on HTML protocol and HTTP protocol. So you oh, okay. should really look him up. HTML, not the HTML coin, but HTML protocol. Well, they, you know, the internet time, you know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so he worked, uh, okay. and he's now also helping us with the blockchain. Mm. Uh, furthermore, you know, we have partners. We were supported by uh, MMB in Switzerland and Bitcoin Swiss, and at the moment we're talking to consensus in the United States for That's the distribution good. of our coin. Sounds good. So uh, next steps for 2018 are more partnerships uh, and actually the, the blockchain is already developed actually or? Well, what we are, mm. it's a good question. Uh, we're, we're working on a prototype mm -hmm. where you can have the, the, the license on the blockchain. Mm. You then buy the license and then you can play a game online. Okay. So that's something that we will launch when we do crowd sale. Mm. That's a very simple licensing scheme because you know our software will, will be a sort of a factory model. Yeah. You know, every game developer mm -hmm. can launch their own token, okay. license tokens on our on our platform. Because oh, okay. you know, it's an investment of one to five million dollars. You cannot expect all gamers to, to make their own licensing software. So oh. there has to be one player that makes that for them. 
Okay, okay. So, and how does it work? I mean, all these developers can issue their games, and me as a user, I can buy that game, yeah. and the blockchain will do the transaction. Yeah, exactly. Between. And the, the blockchain automatically does the transaction in the background. And of course, there is uh, there are questions like, you know, crypto is volatile, but, you know, the, 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 the coins that we can launch on our platform can be stable coins. Okay. Because we have a relationship with uh, MakerDAO. Hmm. So, hmm. you know, you don't have to get a volatile coin. You know, hmm. That's already hmm. uh, something in the past. So the, the value itself will be more stable than we see in the marketplace. Yeah, it will moment. be fair. And okay. I, I think what's interesting, as, hmm. as soon as you have this, this license on the blockchain, you know, you can also apply that for uh, enterprise software, for hmm. APIs, for books. Hmm. So, you know, it's, it's very valuable. And if you, if you don't see the future, you know, instead of just passing bitcoins between each other or mm. crypto between each other mm. now we can start trading between each other via our mobile phone yeah. so it will be sort of a trading application and you know that makes people into economic participants economic players instead of just people that you know use it so you can trade uh, actually games books uh, yeah. via your your blockchain that's, itself. that's yeah, yeah as you as, as the license on the blockchain mm. and then the license in, in your app you basically click on it, QR hmm. code comes up, somebody else scans it, and in the background the money and the license is exchanged. Okay, so a lot of players will be actually yeah, out of their game, maybe, well, in the end. Uh, they have to do something else that uh, mm -hmm. the people need to have. One I mean, if Steam decides to have their own blockchain, would they, would they be a, a competitor? Well, yeah, of course, if Steam would decide that mm. they want to do this, they can create their own blockchain. Mm. They can also work with us, for example. Mm. Uh, they might take another direction. But, uh, you know, mm. we're not really looking at what Steam does, what other players do. You have a great network. Eh? Uh, you already have clients or is, uh, talking with clients? We, we or have, we have mm. one advisor who's called Richard von Barneveld. He's the strategic director of Utomic. We're also talking to Utomic. Uh, Utomic is a sort of a Netflix uh, type of subscription yeah. model. So we, through Richard van Barneveld, we have a good relationship with them. And, uh, you know, we're, we're working on our relationships at the moment. Hmm. Maybe to, to close off, uh, the ICO details, or did you issue an ICO? Or? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be an ICO. So the, yeah. the website is entitle.network yeah. slash participate. Okay. So if people are interested in our uh, private pre-sale, where and you get uh, dot network. Yep. yeah, where you get free times tokens, they should go to our and title starts with an N. They should go to our website and sign up, and we'll be in touch. And uh, at the end of March, we hope to do our crowd sale, Sounds and that good. would be with a soft cap of 10 million and a hard cap of 35 million. 35 million. And will there be a pre-sale, pre-ICO sale? Yeah, the private pre-sale. That's oh, a bit, private. a bit of seed angel money oh, seed that we're angel. looking for now. We're looking for 500,000. We already have 250,000 covered. Hmm. But to really make a push into the market, we, uh, we're looking for 250,000, Joe. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, good to speak to you uh, and all the best uh, with your ICO. Yeah, thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you. Bye.